welcome back to Gen Finan. Doing some combat. We got our very nice plus two basic set. Everything we could dream of. And we're fighting some chickens. At least to start. Want to get a little bit more butchery going. Only getting 3 XP per chicken. In, in all the stats at the same time, though, so. It's something. We have level 3 in all the skills here. And if we're getting 3 XP per chicken, it's going to be a lot of chickens here. We're definitely killing them too quickly. We could give wild chickens a try, but those are level 7. I don't think we're quite there yet. I'm gonna just do one inventory here at least. Not even really taking damage, which is also nice. Getting some piety XP. Butchery is at six. That's okay too. The next question would be Wild chickens. Do they drop departed chicken? Or do they have a special departed wild chicken? It's a possibility. It's definitely a possibility. And we were killing these chickens very fast. Between the lowered XP and the fact that we're kind of just standing around waiting for chickens to spawn, we've definitely out-leveled this area. For higher level things, there are level 2 green slimes, level 3 farm rabbits. Not sure anything level 4. The level 5, I think, is the crabs. So that could be a possibility. Our gear is very solid. Like, as solid as it possibly could be for starter gear. We've got some bronze stuff waiting for us when we get to level 11. That is, that's a ways away still, clearly. All right, let's take a inventory chicken here. Go deal with that at least. Look at our little chipped short sword. It's doing its best. We were hitting pretty decently there, so. I think we'll be all right moving on to something just a tad stronger. I was looking at the achie achievements here. I wasn't looking at the equipment. That's not a thing. But there's a recipe here. A achievement for crafting chicken and potato. So I kind of do want to save some chicken. Try to make some chicken and potato. If we get any chicken. Now there's a rat. That could be something. We might need a plate, though. We have to make a plate or something. The more complicated cooking stuff. Debatable. Level 6 rats. That's still stronger than the crabs, though, so... We will start with this chicken idea. Probably just make some plates. That'd be quick enough. Pretty sure it is cooked chicken in order to make the chicken potato dish. So let's start by cooking up some chicken. 
a little bit of cooking speed here. Got some cooked chicken and low quality cooked chicken. And terribly burnt and discarded chicken. That's alright. Should be able to find some potatoes easily enough. There's one. Don't know if low quality potatoes and chicken would count. So I think our best bet would be to drop the low quality potatoes here. Ooh, high quality potato. Fancy. Alright. This is just for an achievement. <laughs> and going for all the achievements is not something that's going to be happening. Because we'd have to pick a million plants and chop down a million trees, mine a million ores. That's a bit much, don't you think? Roast vegetable medley. No. Make some roast potatoes. At least try to make some roast potatoes. And a high quality roast potato. Which made a low quality. Sure. Fine. Let's start cooking. Nine. Mm. We probably need a plate. It would probably be a good idea to get an entire inventory worth of clay to go make some plates. Maybe bowls or whatever it is we can make. But let's just confirm it first here. Chicken and vegetable medley. Quality roast vegetable medley and an empty plate. Is that chicken potato? Use potato with chicken. No. Whatever. <laughs> That's got, that's got a lot more things than just chicken and potato. That may just... I think there was a chicken and... There was a... There was something like that in the tutorial area. I don't know if that's just not available outside. I am not going to worry about it. What I am going to do is go put away some things. Before we head over to the crabs. I'm going to bring all this food that we apparently can't use for what we want to, but that's fine. We got more sinew. So we got that going for us. Yeah, we are level four with good gear. So level five should be physically possible at least. One would hope. Would really like to not lose all this. Because that'd be a lot of going and picking up more scrap metal. Don't really feel like doing that. Don't really feel like doing that. Okay. There's all our nice stuff. And away we go. The crabs are over by the river. Let's head that way. I also want to scope out the goblins here. We need them for another quest, and there are some level 6 goblins. There's also level 12. Let's see what we can look at here. There's somebody fighting. 12, 12, 12, 12. That's too rich for our blood. 12, 12, 12. 7, 7, 7. 
So there is some level 7 goblins. I'm really concerned about the level 12 goblins right next to him. Level 7 ones have helmets. We stay further this way, we might be able to get away with it. Not quite yet, though. We're still only level 4. And train up a little bit more. And there's level 10 spiders. Level 7 wild chickens. Level 6 rats. You know, like 6, 7. Cows are level 8. 10, 12. There's opportunities out here, for sure. One thing we want to be on the lookout here at the crabs is getting a crab claw in some description to make a crab amulet. He likes crabs. All right. Well. They look pretty pinchy. We'll give it a shot, though. We can hit fives, which is pretty impressive, I think. And this is the part where we wonder if there is styles of attacks. As we fail to hit over and over. A water card and a crab claw. Perfect. Multiple water cards, even. I'll take some cards. That's nice. Ow. Seven point seven XP for each of these. Regular chickens, too. Don't know if it's... That was a good one. Water cards. We just one hit that one. Very impressive. Ouch, we get threes. We have this popcorn here. I don't want to overheal or anything. Let's test the running away mechanic. We got hit once, twice. Well, we killed him. So. Or maybe we didn't. I can't tell. Well, there's no drops, so. Looks like it's gonna be multiple rounds before you can leave. Ow. Popcorn heal two, and then two again. Bravely run away. And now it's back to being aggressive. So popcorn is multiple eats. Which is not great. Well, it, it's okay. It heals, it heals two and then two. That's still better than other things. We got some shrimp. It's a fish, is it? Is it really? <laughs> That's debatable. Well, not not even really debatable. Anyways. We're definitely eating food here, which is unfortunate. And plenty of it. I wouldn't even drop anything. Two and then two. Well, our other food also just heals two by itself, so. Having to eat, having two foods stored in one inventory space is still pretty solid. We got a clamshell. Let's home to something gross looking. Most likely. And we're almost, or like halfway to the next level. <laughs> We got all these crab claws, though. And a low-quality clamshell. What could these be for? I 
think we will collect some crab drops here. Seems to be level appropriate at least. We still have a decent amount of popcorn in the bank. It's a lot of work. Ow. I like to think that we eat the popcorn container in the second bite. That's just ridiculous. Get some good water cards. So that's something, maybe. One more here. From what I learned about the crab amulet, we also need yarn. Let me go for another one. And if we have all these crab claws, we might as well get many yarn. If I can remember how to make yarn. <laughs> Die, crab. Unfortunately, not getting any crab meat. Just some shrimp. Alright. Let's head back to town. Let's see if we can figure out what any of this is used for. Try the various bits on. The cooking stations. Yeah, decent amount of experience there. Yarn was flax or something. Flax is all ten gathering though. If that's where yarn is coming from. There's some grass. Let's see if any of this sells for anything in the shop. Probably gonna keep the water cards. That just makes sense. Trade. Get very, very little for any of that. All right. Could see like a clamshell necklace being a thing. It's possible. Shrimp. No. Anything with crab claws? Water cards. <laughs> I'm gonna cook up a water card. That makes a lot of sense. Clearly. Well, one thing we know, none of this is going to be used for fishing, because that's not in the game. There's still, there's meat in the claws. Big meaty claws. No recipes with the shrimp. low quality shell. And we are going to be going back to crabs again, so we will just stock up these things in the bank. A, a continued effort to see if there is a second page to the bank. As cumbersome as that would be. Also. Getting close to level fours, and that'll help a bit, probably. 
Also, we're going to try to make yarn at some point. We're going to need a spinning wheel. Should probably find where that is. There's the potter's oven. We're going to make some plates, which apparently we don't need because we can't make the thing we wanted to. As far as I can tell. Here we go. Crab. Eight more popcorn. Take it all. We also have a unfired jug we could fire. There's a piece of flax. Where we got that from? And a beer. Let's fire this pot or jug since we have it. Just sitting around. You get five experience for that. Yay. Okay. So after this, we're going to need to go and get more food, too, unfortunately. Oh, we have baked potatoes. They're, they're not very good, but we have them. It just doesn't feel like we have enough health to really warrant bringing better food anywhere. Or even making it. Since so frequently we would end up just overhealing. But I don't know. We're still an age away from 11 vitality. Comet XP. Not the fastest. See if we can at least get to level four here with this set of popcorn. Do need to find this, find the spinning wheel. It's not gonna be by the spiders. Spider web. Stay nice and far away from them. Don't need spiders right now, honestly. They are twice as strong as the thing we're fighting. That's a bit much. I wonder if there's anything that was level four. There's chickens, green slimes, farm rabbits. And then it was crabs, rats, wild chickens. I just one hit him. Well, one hit after a bunch of not hitting at all, so. Make of that what you will. And they are still capable of hitting us. With the awkwardness of getting food, it's almost worth it to just fight lower level stuff that doesn't hit you much. Because honestly, that'd probably be faster overall. Since you don't need to spend a whole bunch of time making food. Probably try out some rats. Once we get these level ups. Just evaded. Okay. You bravely ran away. Yes, very brave. Very cool. Yeah, but enemies can hit threes. Well, we still only have ten. We can hit sixes. They can hit threes, we have ten health. The health economy is just really not here yet. That is a clamshell. Less edible. They're, they're very good clamshells, whatever that means. to be rocking this set of equipment for quite some time here, it seems. I'm just chugging through the food. Which is not great. 
Two, maybe three more. They'll have a level up. Seven point seven. Yeah. Which should be good after this one then. For very varying definitions of good. Level four. Attack. Strength. And defense. Combat level five. Now we need 449 XP for the next level. Alright, let's go find some rats. We're somewhere here in this forest. We're fighting two levels above our level. Actually, we're level five now. This guy's level six. That's only one level. That's alright. Looks like they have more health. They might have less attack. Ooh, departed rat. With that, we can get some butchery XP. They also have bones, unlike the crabs did. Alright. How much XP are we getting here? Same amount. Looks like they have more health. Same XP. They're a level higher, and we did get a level up, though, so. Possibly, it just all evens out. There's a little seven guy over there fighting rats. Ow. They're probably better off fighting at our level. All things considered. Don't know if a lower level would be a good idea. A departed rat here now. We need to... We're gonna need to deal with that. The sheep have plenty of wool. We can make some yarn out of that. Ball of yarn. Yeah. Anything here that looks like a spinning wheel? Got some mushrooms, itchweed, marbles, pineapples, snake berries, pig hides. Pigs exist. Selling raw chip for 15. My goodness. Shears. Ten gold. Or ten gold. Okay. Well, we need to get our butchery knife out. To deal with these rats. I think rat meat's a thing. Wait. Mess around with that a bit. Some shears. Spin wheel in here, maybe? That'd make a lot of sense. Right next to the sheet. Yep, meal prep table. All right, that's good. To, good to have. I think there's a spinning wheel in the castle. Possibly. Let's go put some stuff away, for now. We got more crab claws and shrimp, some high quality clam shells. Yay. So give me my bent sickle cleaver, some coins. I'm gonna go buy some shears, and a piece of flax. Don't really need a beer. Just in the bank. Let's head over to the castle here. Flax is stretchy. That sounds about right. 
That sounds like the direction we're looking to go here. We only have one, though. So if we need to make the crab amulet with this, I want to figure out where I got this. Might have been from the slimes. They seem to drop an interesting collection of items. Yep, there is a spinning wheel. Spin. Bowstring. Ball of yarn. Yarn is wool. Okay, perfect. Rope is yarn. Thread and bowstrings are flax. And sanguine thread is a vial of blood and flax. Here it's even saying it needs certain numbers of things. Perfect. So the materials required section is very accurate. So ball of yarn needs two wool. Alright. Perfect. I will go get a bunch of wool. I can just go put all of our combat stuff away right now. Since we need more food before we can even do more combat anyways. Get us some extra inventory space to play with. Put the flax away. Keep the sickle. Well, we're going to be getting a inventory of wool at least first, so probably not. Do you have the artistry level for that? Hmm. Tailoring might also be a thing. Bank. Equipment. Sickle. Flax. Drop this beer for anyone that wants it. I'll drink the beer. Tough seeing straight. Temporarily reduces attack. Seems about right. Let's go butcher some rats and shear some sheep. Seems about right. Need to buy the shears. I think we... I don't know if we had a needle and thread yet. We, we haven't had any leather to use the needle and thread on, so... Even if we don't have it, we don't need it yet. Unless we're gonna about, about to get some rat hide. I think that might be a thing. Let's do the butchery first. See what happens. Departed rats. Takes five butchery. Yep, got that. At 15 XP. Low quality rat hide, low quality rat meat, and rat meat. Perfect. Perfect is possibly generous way to describe that, but yes. Very good. Alright, buy some shears. We did already have a needle. That's fine. Let's we'll see if there's any prep options with low quality rat meat. Probably not. Unfortunately, we can't equip the Cleaver here. It's still very far away from an actual cooking location. Open the door. Walk inside. <laughs> Raw mystery hot dog from the low quality rat. Hmm. No crispy rat. Have any of that or the levels. That's not ideal. In a single low quality rat hide, that's not gonna get us very far. Failed to shear the sheep. You're a failure, <laughs> clearly. We just need a good chunk of these to make yarn. Trap the sheep inside. 
We haven't trapped the sheep anywhere. If this is really worth. Let's just see how much experience we get for doing anything with this. Definitely an awkward thing to be doing. And unfortunately, the low quality hides take a lot more to be tanned. Nowhere close to rat leather yet with one low quality hide. Just fill up here. We're gonna be making a trip to the spinning wheel. Might as well make it count. We should get wildly and we got tailoring level from that. Cool. Well that's a way to train that without needing any supplies. So that's something. I have the levels for all this. <laughs> Alright. Nice pile of wool. I think this is the tanner down here. Tom the Tanner. Cow, fox, rat. Rat's the cheapest. He has five low quality hides to make one. So that's not ideal. Maybe a lot of rat killing to make some rat hide armor. Not that we have any of the levels for that. Whoa. This is tailoring. Oh, two. It's not very high. Not sure what all we can do with tailoring. There's a clothing loom over there. What do we do here? We can make balls of yarn, one, with wool, and then rope, flax. Let's go look at the clothing loom here. That's gonna use yarn to make clothing. For the leather, you just use. I would make cloth. Well, we could make cloth at level three. Interesting. But cloth is a thing. If everything is as complicated as forging, it's gonna get wild out in here. Let's make some balls of yarn. 10 XP each. I'm thinking yarn today. Yeah, one extra. Anything to do with yarn over at the loom? Looks to go more towards cloth. So probably not. We make lace. Level 10. Okay. I got a decent amount of tailoring speed for that. I need to go shear some more sheep. Head back down. And there is one other thing out here. Down here? Yeah, there's the trap door. Which leads to Rat Dungeon. Which goes to a place. We can check that out. We can fight our way past a couple rats. See if we make this crab amulet. Could be good. Could do nothing. Also possible. Let's see if it gives any experience though. So if we want to save our yarn for lace, it's also an option. Bank. Guess we'll put away our one wool. Shears for now. 
Don't have anything we need to do with the rat meat, so put that. Low quality rat hide, I guess. There's a beef and potato. Hmm. Right, let's get out. Ten of our crab claws. Got some low quality rat on the meat. On the ground. Wool on crab claw. Craft a clomulet. It's not giving any XP. Crab claw. Let's mount to this jeweler. I don't know if we need these crab claws then. Okay. Yarn. It's for. I think this might technically be just for a quest. Because we were talking to the miller. That was the whole thing. So now I need to get some... I mean, we got these baked potatoes. Baked potatoes and a dream. To the dungeon. Definitely going to need to... Probably just get a bunch of popcorn be the easiest way. And that also will be helpful, is that we'll be getting botany experience while getting the corn to make the popcorn. And that is useful for a lot of things. Into the dungeon. Looking pretty cool. Got a little 22 guy in here. Find the rats. Got some barred doors. We can open. Camp beds. And a ladder over here. Climb up. We are outside. Right here. Not, not even on the other side. There's hogs. That's gonna be where you get your pork from. We're not we're not even on the other side of the fence. We're just over here next to the mine. Okay. It's not a shortcut or anything. Place exists before. <laughs> New things are being added constantly. Thought this was the edge of the map. This this might all be new over here. We've got Bill. Hey Bill. And a skeleton. Hey skeleton. What's going on over here? It's a mess, is what it is. Hey you there? Who me? Yes, you. Question for you. Would you ever pay to see sheep fight each other? No, that sounds awful and inhumane. Well, you're no fun. Is this a sheep fighting area? <laughs> sure. Hmm, you don't say. Is there sheep fighting each other over here? What are we getting ourselves into now? Looks like looks like an arena kind of deal. There's a road. Huh. Wild. This road go back to their town. Well, if it goes back to the town, I need my crab amulet. I just want to go fight some stuff. I wanted to just go fight some stuff. That's too much to ask, clearly. Okay. There's the mine. We have potatoes. We go fight some slimes or something. That's a low enough level that we can manage it. No goblins or anything. Not yet, at least. So you kind of see, like, the edge of the map there? Edge of the, like, chunk or something. Go find some slimes. This is all the food we have left, though. 
isn't great. We are level 5 now, so... I don't imagine slimes are going to give a huge amount of experience. Quite farm rabbits, if we wanted to. These slimes right here. They don't give any... Butchery XP or anything. Let's fight them, see what happens. We can also drop some coins. That could be nice. And all these various fruits, which don't really sell for anything. Just some inventory cloggers. For the slimes. 4.8. Hammer. Doubt that sells for anything either. They can still hit a little bit. They feel a little bit more defensive. Especially for only level 2. Wood slivers. Scrap metal. Four hundred more XP for the next level there. Cows are level eight, so I think that's still a little bit too high level. At least for now. I would just go with crabs. But food. But food. Just fight some rabbits. Oh, don't attack the cat, he's too strong. Rats out here. Six. More chickens over here. They don't put up much of a fight. Slime somewhere. That's fine. I figure out that chicken and potato thing. I don't think we have tried to fight the cow. Seems like a poor decision. You're too strong. So we harvesting carrots. Lots of rabbits out here. Fight them. Our potatoes are delicious. That's nice. Rabbits drop various things. I don't think many of them were immediately edible. That's another thing to consider. Sustainable combat. Bones. 5.4. Split bugs. Got <laughs> lots of this to be left. Low quality carrot. I'm not gonna take anything low quality. Oh, except for this potato, apparently. Seems like the rabbits just have a bunch of low quality stuff. Isn't great. Bones. I don't think Piety does anything yet either, unfortunately. Very, very. Definitely using less resources. Which is a value in itself. We're not getting anything useful either, so. What the optimal strategy here is. Does it really matter? There's gonna be so much having to fight stuff in the 
long run. And we just fight stuff that is our level or thereabouts. That'd be fine either way. Maybe I just dropped low quality stuff. That's fine. Three hundred XP, five at a time. Low quality drops. Eh, could be worse. I think overall, trying to fight things with slightly more useful drops, like the crabs, pretty much just for the cards, really. Or the rats, to try to get some rat hide, I guess. Can't really do much with the rat meat, unfortunately. Just see if there's anything a little four either. Maybe hiding somewhere else. Yeah, because these rabbits are a bit easy. But then the crabs were hitting damage. I think we just stick with our level or a little bit below. We'll be fine. I, think I do want to get some popcorn here. At least. A few bits of popcorn. It is, it is slightly awkward because the popcorn requires two corn per. So we just end up having half inventories and stuff. There's a better cooking range, maybe. I think we also really just need to Keep investigating all around. We're getting close. We have one high quality corn. That sickle. And up to 29 things in here, anyways. Alright. Yeah, equipment taking up inventory space. Is a design. Makes it so walking around with nothing. The sickle is like a sword in the back when wielded. Wild. You got high quality iron plate legs and plate body. Wild. Yeah, wielding the sickle is just like a sword sheathed in your on your back. Pretty pretty cool. Let's get some corn. I just squeeze that two point two. So if we just harvest. 170 corn. We can get the botany level we need for the next thing we want to do. Low quality corn. I don't know about that. I'll see. Probably be worth just not dropping the corn just to make the popcorn. Try to find the best location here. It's a lot of low quality. We'll see if we just burn tons and tons of the popcorn. Because if we do, that means the low quality corn isn't as worth even bringing over there. It's popcorn though. How, how hard could it be to make popcorn? We burn everything else we get our hands on. Cooking's nine. I think that'd be okay. It's probably not. Low quality stuff just really does not seem to work very well. Can't be too surprised about that, I suppose. Oh, 
One thing to consider with popcorn is if doing two trips during it would be worthwhile. The first trip you're going to get half your inventory, the second trip you get a quarter. But you wouldn't have to walk all the way back to the bank twice then. What is more macro efficient? See now. We could go to the bank right now. Put away half an inventory of popcorn. Or we could go get another half an inventory of popcorn. Walk back over there. And then go to the bank with three quarters of an inventory of popcorn. Also, it looks like we successfully cooked all the popcorn, which is pretty swell. It's gonna be a best occasion to harvest. This section here has six, just in a nice easy clump. Six enough? Almost. Just about get away with it. Everybody's harvesting corn. Corn is very popular. Also, we can find a we can find a closer cooking range. Would maybe be better to bank the corn. That's entirely possible. We really just need to continue looking around. Finding new cities and such. And what they may offer us. They're coming down to make some popcorn, looks like. I mean, they were collecting corn and now they're over here. Some kind of use all the different combinations setting would be nice. So I'm having to individually make every different kind of combo of corn here. And then we could harvest a few pieces of corn, bring them back to the bank for later. Since we have this inventory space, we're walking right past. Something like that would make sense. 256 left for the botany. Yeah, we're definitely... We can definitely get that botany level for the next step of the princess's quest. It doesn't really seem like the quality of the corn matters, which is interesting. This might be enough to see if there's a second page of the bank. We have a lot of things in the bank that we generally don't need anyways, so. If that is the situation, it is not the hugest problem. Alright, what's our total level? 92. I'm getting close to, to level 100. Oh boy. Ain't that something? Don't know how high these stats go. Probably at least 99, maybe 100. What the XP curve is is also a question. All right, here we go. We got regular corn, low quality corn. Bank is full and has no free slots available to deposit that item. Ouch. All right. It is time to do some culling here. I don't need tea sets. That was for a quest. We need to bring the soiled uniform back to somebody. We withdraw things as notes. Anyway. Just gonna drop some tea sets on the ground. Put in the 
corns, and the sickle. There we go. A full inventory in our bank. That's gonna get very tight. Alright. There's lots of stuff in here we don't need. And continuing on with some quests would be a good way of clearing up some more inventory here. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to go make more popcorn with my sickle on my back. I'm heading to the popcorn mines. I don't know. But we are oh so very close to Bonnie 8. We've got the soiled uniform. We've got the clomulet. We've got pieces to do. Some more quests here. And getting more food will let us level up combat stats some more to fight the goblins for another quest bit. So we are, we're making it, we're making it. Doing pretty decent on coins too now, so that's nice. So I'd say, it's working out. More quests. Main focus. Next time. Goodbye.